And with this reflection also comes calls for answers and accountability. Tonight there is a gathering outside Congressman McCarthy's office in Bakersfield where people are demanding just that. 23 ABC's Kristen Vartan joining us live in central Bakersfield where activists are demanding justice on this anniversary of the attack on the Capitol. Good evening, Kristen. Good evening, Keely. Just an hour ago, we had local activists right here at Congressman Kevin McCarthy's office just outside demanding justice not only from him, but from Trump himself and his administration for what took place only a year ago on January 6th, the storming of the Capitol. It's something that really sticks with so many people a year later. And really here in Bakersfield, so many people are still grieving from what happened, including the Dolores Huerta Foundation. We have Dolores Huerta herself here today to tell us why this meant so much to her. Dolores, why was it important? You, your whole entire life you've been really speaking up for justice. What was it about what happened a year ago that made you speak up today? Well, we know that our democracy right now is, is threatened by what happened on January the 6th. We want to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Uh, we know that people were killed and this vigil is here uh, to remember those people and to memorialize them. But at the same time, we are here at Kevin McCarthy's office because he has not done anything at all to hold anybody accountable. He is still supporting Donald Trump. He has, he has tried to shut down the investigation of January the 6th. And so we just want to remind everybody that we've got to hold McCarthy and all of those responsible for that insurrection on January the 6th. We also did hear from Kevin McCarthy. He sent us a statement today saying that he condemns any of the violence that took place a year ago. You mentioned and so many of the activists mentioned today that there is still accountability to be had. If Kevin McCarthy is hearing this right now, what do you want to say to him? I would say that he needs to cooperate with the investigation uh, so that they can find out who paid for this, who paid for the buses for the people to get there, who did the planning of this, and they, that they have to be held accountable. And, and all those that participated, and also Donald Trump, needs to be held accountable. Because if we do not do this, we are not going to save our democracy. We all have to fight to save our democracy, and Kevin McCarthy has got to be held accountable for his actions. Dolores, thank you so much for everything you said today. We will talk more about this tonight in our 6 p.m. news hour. Coming up, we will talk about the vigil that's taking place right behind me, as well as what happened last year. In Bakersfield, Kristen Barton, 23 ABC News, connecting you.